What's up guys? So today we are going to be talking about how to work alone like a gentleman. What's up guys? Welcome back to Gents Lounge. I'm George. This is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. And today we are talking about fragrance, cologne, perfume, whatever you want to call it. We are going to tell you how to wear it properly. All right guys, so getting straight into it, the first thing you want to know is the strength of your scent. Right guys, little do you know that the labels on your colognes, perfumes, fragrances are there for a reason. So, eau de toilette, eau de cologne, eau de parfum means something. And that labeling is going to tell you how concentrated your fragrance is. So, the least concentrated, you want to do a little more sprays, maybe around five or six. And then the more concentrated you get, you want to do less and less sprays because it's going to be more concentrated, yes. it's going to be more potent, and if you're in cab or an office setting, you are really going to smell if you put too much on. So a general rule of thumb that I like to live by is two to five sprays. No less, no more. I don't care what cologne it is. I just, you know, I, I like to stay in that sweet spot because I feel like it works for me. And up next on the list, where do you spray cologne? Now, you want to spray cologne on your skin on a dry body. So like right after you get out of the shower and you dry it off is probably the most ideal time to spray your cologne because it'll give it some time to kind of wear in and you're not necessarily going right into public with it. So you really want to hit the spots where your body is the warmest. So your neck, your throat, um, right here on your wrists is good. I like to do, depending on the concentration, a spray on the front of my neck, a spray on the back of my neck, and if it's a weaker cologne, I'll do each of my wrists. What I like to do is hit my pulse points. I specifically like to go with my wrist. I never ever rub because the actual scent is going to change and uh, there's a lot of chemicals and molecules in there and it's not meant to be rubbed. I also don't spray and walk into it because even though it, it may look cool, it serves no purpose. Okay guys, you, you guys end up losing a lot of the cologne. And again, to reiterate what George said earlier, you want to spray on the skin. So stay away from your clothes and any like fabric or garment because it will last a long time and it will be really heavy and it, everyone's going to smell it and it's going to last for like two to three days. So you want to go on pulse points again guys or just stay away from all fabric. Right guys, if you're spraying it on a suit, which you're not dry cleaning after every wear, you know, the fragrance is gonna linger. So unless you wear the same fragrance constantly, try to stay away from spraying it on your suits. Another thing to consider guys when applying your cologne is that the temperature, the weather, frankly the seasons are gonna affect the way that it actually smells on your body. Yeah guys, I was just in Miami in the winter and it was still super, super warm there, but I was spraying cologne that I spray constantly over here and I know it, I can smell it with two or three sprays. It smells great, it lasts a long time. And over there, I would spray it and I would smell it for about 10 minutes and then it would just die. So, you know, sometimes in a warmer, more humid climate where you sweat more, you're gonna need a heavier cologne yes. to just, that just kind of holds up to it or you're gonna have to reapply. And if, you know, that's still not working, I recommend you know spraying at a distance and spraying on your clothes if you want your cologne to last. I know we just said don't spray on your clothes, but as a last resort, if you want to actually smell your cologne for more than 10 minutes in a super humid climate, that might be the way to go. Another thing to consider when choosing your cologne, guys, is what time of day and where you're going to be wearing it to. Right, guys. Now, I would say fresh scents pretty much work across the board, but you want a lighter scent during the day and a heavier scent at night. And if you're in like a super, super enclosed office space, you really want something that's less aggressive because you're around a ton of people and you know not everybody has the same sense of smell you do. So if it's a little bit out there and a little a wild scent, you're gonna maybe make some people a little bit angry. So try to choose kind of like lighter, look for citrusy, aqua notes. Those will be perfect. You know, any type of greenery in there is good. And then as you get towards the evening, you can work in the tobacco and the woodsy and the more oriental kind of sense. And you know, up here we kind of took a few out of our closet and organized them from light to dark. So we have this guy from Scent Bird, which was a sample I just got sent, but it's a Montel Solil, 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 Solil de Capri. And it's, Capri. it's a Oude Parfum. It's, they say Capri. <laughs> it's a Oude Parfum, so it's a little bit stronger, but it's, it just smells like straight lemons and light and citrus and it's, it's also very awesome. summer, very, very spring, you know, it makes you feel good during the day, it's nice. Right. 
And then up next we have a Neroli by Le Labo, also a per parfum, but... On the, on, this is on the lighter side. Right, it's, it's still light, it's still green. It's, it's like a mix of citrus and kind of a light greenery. Then we have the Creed Green Irish Tweed, which is a good transition. It's like almost too much for the office, unless you're in kind of a spaced out environment, but it definitely lends itself to being suited and classy. It just smells very classy. This would be your brunch of colognes, I right. think, right? I mean, that makes its way into the evening. Yes. So like after lunch, you could spray it and then it would work all night long. Then we have Tom Ford's Beau de Jour, which is a little bit heavier. This is for your gala, um, going out at night in an open space. You want to make sure that you're wearing this suited or even dressed up, you know? This is, this is a statement cologne. It's going to be, people are going to smell it. Right, this is like, you know, so when you're in like a nightclub or a bar or something like that, there's a lot of scents going on. Yes. So you can wear something a little stronger so it will actually stand up and stand out. And then last but not least, we have Persons of Interest Havana Conference. And this smells exactly like you would think. It's <laughs> like tobacco and manliness and wood. And it is very, very heavy. I usually use like one to two sprays of this and I am good. Yeah, this is one of those colognes where 20, 30 minutes after you leave the cab, we'll still be smelling, okay? <laughs> it, 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 is, it is that strong, but it has a nice scent to it, dude. Yes. I really like it. All right, guys, there it is. How to wear cologne like a gentleman. Remember, know the concentration of your scent, know where to spray it, know what climate you're in, and know the time of day and where you are wearing it to. So once again, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram, at Jen's Lounge, give us a follow over there, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.